Lectures take place in a range of locations at Birkbeck, such as large purpose-built lecture theatres, smaller teaching rooms and labs. Lectures are delivered in a variety of ways. Lecturers may use slides, PowerPoint or Prezi. They may write on a white or blackboard or they may simply speak. We expect students to come to lectures and be prepared for lectures. And usually lectures um, are, quite, uh, are quite conceptual and based on theoretical frameworks. And it helps students to come prepared and read up on the various literature on those concepts and theories that usually the lecturer would provide well in advance. Um, reading is extremely important to develop language, to develop writing skills. We usually find that the more students read, the better the writing gets. So get reading as early as you can um, and as soon as you get your hands on a module handbook it's worth um, going to the library and worth checking out the various online resources that we have um, and read those well and engage in those well. Before the lectures the tutors may give you a lot of readings to do and it is very important but most of the readings are very long with um, over 20 pages and it's hard to understand sometimes um, but you have to do the readings um, um, or you may you may can't understand the lecture very well so it's also very important um, and very challenging. Uh, actually there are so many reading lists and the lecturer upload the PPT file or some resource of the lecture and we can see before the lecture so it is I think it is necessary to to preview the that resource. Yeah, I think it's very important thing. You should learn um, how to collect information, important information from the long articles and try to read through, go through most of the readings. Lecturers may also invite and encourage you to ask questions during their talk or may ask for these at the end and won't want to be interrupted. In Japan, the lecture is like a story which is made by just only the lecturer, but in here the lecture is like a story which is made by the lecturer and us. You won't always understand what, depending on the teacher, the accent, or what the other people are saying quickly, all the factors. Just try to get the basic ideas, and if later you have, um, you, you still don't know exactly a few things, you can go and ask. Here the teachers are being really helpful. Most lectures are now video recorded so that students can go back and go over bits that they may have missed and also to help them with revision.